It's no wonder that a photograph of a gorilla hugging her longtime caretaker would win the People's Choice Award in the 2017 contest, Wildlife Photographer of the Year. It shows the famous lowland gorilla, Pekin and Apollinaire, her best friend, both cuddling on their way to a new animal sanctuary. You can see trust, love, and companionship in just a single image. And once you hear Pekin's story, your heart will surely break. Let's see their amazing story. There were over 50,000 photographs in the contest hosted by the Natural History Museum in London. Out of all those photographs, only 24 were chosen by the museum staff to compete for the People's Choice Award. This photograph will be present at the museum in the Wildlife Photographer of the Year exhibition, and the public can see it there until May 28th. The photographer's name is Joanne MacArthur, and when she heard the news, she was extremely happy. Joanne was present at the Ape Action Africa Sanctuary in Mefu, Cameroon, when she took the photograph of Apollinaire, the caretaker, and Pekin. They were on their way to a bigger place for Pekin. This is what Joanne said in her book. In MacArthur's book, she described how she took the photograph. Even though it's inadvisable, to say the least, to get into a vehicle with a gorilla, Pekin had been sedated and was being held by Apollinaire. Worryingly for me, Pekin woke up earlier. Pekin woke up sleepily, and Joanne remembers that the gorilla seemed content to be in the arms of her caretaker, and eventually laid her head back down to rest and nodded off. It was the perfect snap that would bring her the great prize. I'm so thankful that this image resonated with people, and I hope it might inspire us all to care a little bit more about animals. Joanne was very happy to win a prize for her hard work. She has traveled a lot to photograph wildlife, and has seen a lot of tragedies. African countries are full of hunters that kill primates, as their meat is edible. When they hunt big apes, the hunters kill the mothers and leave the orphans to die in the forest or sell them as pets. Some of them are lucky, like Pekin was. Some organizations rescue orphans found in the wild and feed them, take care of them, and treat them. But they end up in sanctuaries because they get used to humans and could be in danger if they get released back into the wild. When Pekin arrived, I saw that she was very clever, said Apo Linaire. Moreover, Pekin was very jealous of her caretaker and would shout at any other gorillas that would approach him. I was her father. I belonged to her, continued Apo Linaire. Whenever Apo Linaire would say no, Pekin would listen. For a while. She would wait until she thought I'd forgotten, and then she'd do it, said the man. As Pekin grew up into an adult gorilla, she and a group of other gorillas had to be taken to a new enclosure. Pekin had to get a new home. Apollinaire had to leave his home because of a civil war. Both man and primate had to learn to rebuild their lives, and the connection between them grew stronger day by day. Apollinaire and the others from the sanctuary are working to protect and care for wild animals. The photograph that won the People's Choice Award in the Wildlife Photographer of the Year contest shows us both a happy and a sad story, similar to many other cases on the entire planet. Here are some cute photographs of Pekin and Apollinaire doing their chores together. Pekin helped her caretaker wash his mug. It was shortly after she arrived at the Ape Action Africa in 2007. Pekin also made a friend in Thierry Jaku, who she followed around to catch a ride and get some sugarcane as a snack. Her years with the staff were the best, as she had a lot of fun, and the people there loved her a lot. But Pekin would soon experience a tragedy. Pekin was now a young adult gorilla, and she had to be moved to a bigger place. Unfortunately, a few years later, in 2014, Pekin would get into trouble. Everyone was in tears as her life was in danger. On March 11, 2014, the staff at the sanctuary announced to every one of their Facebook followers that Pekin got herself in trouble. During one night, she fell out of a tree and impaled her leg on a branch. The caretakers were shocked. The poor gorilla was under treatment because she suffered from a severe infection and two of the bones in her lower legs were broken. She needed surgery and vets had to fly from the UK to Cameroon. Flights and medication cost about 2,000 pounds. People donated for Pekin's recovery, treatment, and everything, and in only two days, they sent 3,800 pounds. 
Everyone at the sanctuary was touched by the people's kindness, but they would soon be heartbroken. We are absolutely heartbroken to tell you that Pekin has lost her fight for life, said an update on the injured gorilla. Unfortunately, the infection in the leg spread and Pekin died of tetanus. There was nothing they could do, so they had to let her go. I held Pekin yesterday and told her that I was keeping my promise and that she didn't need to fight anymore. I was devastated to have lost my friend, but I know that she's high in the trees, free from pain, said Rachel, one of the caretakers. They buried Pekin's body under a plum tree outside the enclosure to have her by their side. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.